What's up guys, it's JDog here from Seeker Host, and today we're going to be going over Minecraft server shops. We're going to be using the Villager Market plugin which works for up to 1.19 servers, the latest release as of now and it works really well so let's get into it and let's check out a little bit more about this plugin. So with this plugin you can easily create player shops and also admin shops as well. By admin shops I mean shops that you can go onto, if I open up the storefront here you can buy and sell in unlimited amounts or limited amounts as well. As you can see here I've got an uh, unlimited amount which the player can sell and an unlimited amount that people can buy in amounts of two at a time. You can also set up player shops. By player shops, I mean a shop that you can set up as an admin that players buy on here. The great thing about this is that you can also add time periods. So for this shop, as you can see, it's gonna cost 1,500. We got eight uh, shop slots and we have seven storage slots. Uh, which the player can use once they bought it. It costs 1,500 and you're gonna have the shop for 24 hours. If we move over to the shop over here, you're gonna see that this one is actually, it says never actually means, you know, um, the opposite way around so you will have this forever basically it's unlimited it costs 2000 it's got 35 unlimited uh, 35 storage slots and 26 shop slots so you can change all of that it's super easy to set up and let's go through how to install how to download and install this now and then let's just go through some of the commands to get your shop set up and before we get into this properly let's go through what you're going to need this is going to be three plugins that are required to run this that's going to be the villager market plugin itself the vault plugin to help with economy and then some sort of economy plugin um, today we're going to be using essential x just the essential x plugin you don't need to download the entire thing it's got lots of different add-ons we're just going to be going for the essential x plugin itself and of course the server if you haven't got one with us yet come over to seekerhost.co you can grab yourself a small server for you and a few friends or a large server to run multiple mods mod packs have hundreds of players on and anything else that you might want to do now make sure that your server first is stopped and it is running either paper 1.19 or spigot 1.19 now this plugin does actually work for 1.9 to 1.19 however this is i think that you know primarily we're going to be looking at 1.19 since it's the latest release as of now so with the server stopped what we're going to do is we're just going to come over and all the links are going to be in the description and we're basically going to download um, all the links for this so with that you saw i went to downloads on the top right and i'm just going to download essential x click the download and it will download it for you the same with vault follow the link download click on the download button right here and again with villager market just click the download button from the link below in the description once all downloaded you're going to be able to find them in your downloads folder on your pc and now we're just ready to upload them now uh, two things to note here i'm going to use filezilla to upload them all you can use ftp file access the only problem with that is is essential x is quite a large file so it might not upload it might time out and just might it might just be too big for the server to upload uh, so for essential x you will definitely have to use filezilla to upload it or some sort of third party um, a thing to connect to your server. Uh, the other two will upload, so I'll leave a link in the description as well for how to connect and use FileZilla. It's quite simple. Go to files, go to FTP files, use the information given to you there to then put into FileZilla, which is a free download as well. Once you've connected to your server, uh, you're going to see in a minute how we move the files over. Once connected to FileZilla, what we're going to do is on the right hand side, we're going to double click plugins. You will see that I have already got them, so I had to do them in testing. However, what you will do is you won't see the plugins on the right hand side, you won't see the data folders either for them. All you've got to do is highlight all three of them, drag them over to the right hand side, and then once done, that you're going to see them on there. Once you start the server, they will then create the data files here. So you're going to have the plugin jar file, and then you'll also have the data files on your server. That's it, all done, all uploaded. We can now close this down and we can start the server back up again if we run a plugin command you can see that we have essentials vault village market and grief prevention which was from the last tutorial meaning they're all working and they're all uploaded and ready to go so now we're all logged in let's check out some of the commands let's just go over the main commands now and then i'll show you the wiki afterwards which will have all the rest of the commands because there's lots of things you can do including you know putting the api on it collecting taxes and whatnot which we're not going to go through today we're going to go through the simple player commands for the shops so let's get started with an admin shop an admin shop is something that you can set to have an unlimited amount um, of anything and it doesn't need um, the actual player to give the amount of items in uh, for the player shops they actually have to have the items to sell obviously with an admin shop you're just setting it up for the server so all the commands are pretty much going to run through vm space and you're going to find all the rest of the commands there let's just go to create and let's create ourselves an admin shop first so the admin shop we're going to choose admin we're going to press and then we're going to press uh, the actual storage amount here so I'm just going to put two for this one. We're going to press enter and when we uh, open it, we can see that we have a shop. We don't actually have anything in our shop at the moment. And if we right click him, it's going to give us our options. From here, we can edit the villager. We can make him look however we want. So let's make him into a cartographer. We can preview the shop to see how it looks like for others. And we can also change the villager name. Now to create a shop, uh, you need to have the blocks on you so let's just start off with a couple of blocks like this let's do a gold and let's do a wooden plank as well so i'm going to right click the villager here to set him up for the admin shop and we're going to go to edit shop front so all we have to do here is simply drag the block or the item whatever we want to sell into 
selected a section over here or the section that we want to uh, buy at and it says here please type the amount that you wish to sell or buy in the chat so do forward slash take the forward slash way and just put it in the chat so the amount that I want to sell of this item is one every time so every time they purchase it they're going to get one of them you can change this to whatever number you want so press enter first amount um, set next up we want to actually set the price for that amount so each time that you buy one in this case how much do you want to be charged uh, let's say ten dollars or you know whatever currency you're using press 10 as you can see here we now have an option to uh, sell one plank and you're going to get ten dollars now you're thinking okay well i want to buy it or maybe i don't want the uh, player limit to be unlimited i want them only to be able to buy a certain amount now to edit this simply click on it um, and you're going to be able to change everything here from the mode we can change this to buy so this can be buy one wooden plank for ten dollars uh, you can change the amount you can also change the player limit um, so if you type in 10, this means the players will only be able to get this 10 times after 10 times the shop will cut off for, um, for this particular item. Uh, you can change the price there and you can also put a limit cooldown so people can't just continuously keep buying it. Perhaps they might have to wait like half an hour or a day until they can buy this product again. You can also remove it and go back this way. So let's just leave that product up as buy. And uh, now let's put a gold ore again and let's just set this to sell so if anybody wants to sell gold ore. So first of all, let's set it to 10. So each time they sell it, it's going to take 10 from their inventory. Press enter and we're going to sell them at $20 each. So as you can see now it's set to sell amount of 10 so it's going to look for 10 in your inventory if you don't have that it won't be able to sell it and it's going to give you 20 dollars it's also been set to unlimited and you can also change that again so super easy that's how you change the buy and the sell again if you're not sure go on to edit click on the actual item itself and you can change it from buy to sell here uh, change the modes or just remove it completely next up we have the preview shop which again you're just going to see how it works you can click it um, and as we can see there we don't have enough environment inventory because it's been checking for that another neat thing here is that you actually can set a command for it as well so rather than buy or sell you can actually set it to a custom command we press that and it'll ask you to put the command in there now we're not going to go too much into that um, because I haven't played around with it myself but it's a very interesting feature. So now if we right click on it and we go to the shop let's just try and buy some of the gold ore. If we click that as we can see we bought the gold ore and we have some money left. If you're not sure how to give yourself money on essentials um, it's essentials eco give the player name and then the amount. You can only do this as an admin or an OP. Next up how do we make the uh, player shops that which the actual players can come and buy themselves. So for this we're going to do forward slash vm space after that we're going to go to create this time we're going to go to player press space as you can see from the uh, the thing just above me there it says the shop size the shop size we can set to i believe between one six and infinite so let's set that to one the storage size let's set that to three uh, and the actual price for the shop we can do this at one thousand 100 after that you can pick a time if you don't pick a time it's going to be unlimited it's going to be their shop forever if you do pick a time you can do this in hours or minutes you can do like 24 hours 16 hours let's just do 24 hours it means that this shop's going to be bought um or buyable by a player if they do buy it they are going to pay that amount of money so 1100 but they're only going to have the shop for 24 hours so i've given my other player that amount of money let's just go see if he can actually buy the shop where or keyboard master there we go he's just bought the shop now and he can now set up the shop so let's just try this myself let's just go ahead and buy the shop as you can see this changes you can sell abandon edit villager and you have all the normal things to edit your shop front now this is set to automatically pay you through the system even if you're online um, and it will send you a reminder as well you can set it through the config to not do that as well um, so you can actually have you'll have to come and collect it from the villager itself um, however you as default it doesn't need to do that so it's going to get paid to you automatically you just need to keep restocking it another link that i will leave is the wiki for this because it's excellent it's got all everything you need to know from the renting shops the exact commands for it how to set up your days times minutes um, also another cool thing is that you got spawn eggs so with spawn eggs you can actually give uh, as you can see there with the command vm item give the player the shop size the storage size the amount just like we set up now but you can give them an egg so you can give them the egg they can go away um, put the egg down wherever they want so the shop doesn't have to be put down somewhere that you chose it can actually be put down anywhere that they want as well if you do want to uh, make manual collection so it doesn't automatically come to yours this is how you do it on here require manual collection and you just need to put the require collect in the config yml set to true after that it's got lots of interesting information about player shops admin shops commands and permissions um, permissions let's just have a quick look now a lot of these will be set for admins but do have a look through just in case anything's not working and you need to give your players any permissions to use the shop along with that you also get the code to access the api for it as well so thanks for watching guys again if you do need the server head on over to seekerhost.co use code 25 off for a 25% off discount off your first server get playing start up your server and get started with the currency and player shops on your 1.19 server